people. When you do something that you didn't think you could or that you've never tried, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, it's like that much more satisfying when you actually succeed. The first cleanse I actually did was after I had a baby. It wasn't immediately after. It was kind of a new thing for me at least. I know they've been around for a while, but you know, I'm late to the game, I guess. But I was like, okay, everyone seems to be jumping on this and it seems to be working for people. And I thought, I need something to kind of recharge, restart, remotivate. Let's get going, you know, you've had your baby, you've had your time, now it's like, let's get back in the game. It was a challenge, I won't be, you know, I won't lie, uh, especially after what my routine had been prior to that. But you know what, when you do it, you're like, it makes you just realize so many other things like, wow, I am eating a lot of things that I don't need to be eating, or I can actually do this. Um, there's so many things go through your head because you're like, this will be fun. And then when you start at it, you're like, this is actually harder than I thought it would be. And you're like, mm, I miss everything I was eating. Then you get on like day three and you're like, I could do this for probably yeah. like, you know, another week. Uh -huh. You know, it's yeah. like you're, you go through the different stages and you really kind of see your body adjusting and reacting to what you're putting into it. The juicing gave me a very concrete plan, even if it was just for three days. And it was just like, okay, this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna stay on track. It's three days, you can do it. And it's gonna help you get ready for what's down the road. That was a big thing I think that I got from doing the first couple of cleanses was that I had more of a direction of how to really kind of stop my bad habits and get onto a good path and then from there just kind of add in and continue healthier habits. You can tell when you put the right stuff in your body and when you're, you're doing the right things to your body that you have a higher level of energy and with that energy you're accomplishing more and when you're accomplishing more you have confidence because you can do this okay what's the next thing bring it on when I'm at my best health wise mentally um, physically I'm able to do more it allows me more flexibility with my family allows us to do better more things together allows me to provide them with more uh, opportunities which is you know, very important to me. So it's just a very big intertwined, um, you know, circle there. It's, it's, if you take care of yourself, you take care of um, your priorities and your responsibilities, you know, or your hard work, it's gonna pay off. And it might not be the way that you see it, right. <laughs> that you had envisioned right. this perfect life or perfect situation or, or hitting your goal exactly as you wanted to, but you have to kind of just, you know, roll with the punches because if you take a step back and look like, you know what, all that I've done because I've taken care of myself, because I've put in the effort, all that I've been able to accomplish, look at what I'm able to give back to my family because of that, you know? And that's, you can't, you can't replace that feeling, right. so. Right. Yeah. You know, I didn't come this far to come this far. It's mm -hmm. like, let's keep going, right? Let's. Well, why am I going to waste all of that effort and all of that progress to just say I'm here? You know, that's, that's why I think personal growth is my definition of success. It's because it's never going to stop. And that might be on a Monday, <laughs> success might be getting the kids to school and die, right. <laughs> you know? But then one day it might be, hey, I hit my, my quota for work or, you know, I signed up to be a classroom mom, you know? It's like never in a million years did I think I could do that. I would say give it a shot. Don't be too hard on yourself. Listen to your body, see how you feel. Give it at least two days, because I promise you, day three is gonna come and it's gonna be a different mindset. And if you don't get there the first time, try it again. But like, uh, I think doing something new is good on so many different levels. Not just saying the juice is good for your body on different levels, but trying something different. Like you're like, oh, well, you know what? I actually did that. Maybe I should try something else that I haven't tried before, you know, because is cliche or whatever as it sounds, it's true. When you do something that you didn't think you could or that you've never tried, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, it's like that much more satisfying when you actually succeed.